In the tutorial I posted last week, I showed how you can make this dripping paint sort of background in GIMP, and I also suggested that you could add this glassy text on top, which looks pretty nice. But unfortunately, I didn't have enough time in that video to show how to make the glassy text itself. Some of my viewers, though, requested that I go ahead and make a tutorial on the glassy text, so that's what I'll be doing today. I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer so I have a fresh background to start with, without the text. I'll be using the same background that I made in the previous tutorial. If you want to click on this annotation, you can watch the tutorial on how to make this background. But you don't have to. You can apply the same text effect on any background you choose. Okay, so first of all, just grab your text tool, and we're going to jump right in. So the font I'm using is called Walkway Black. I've used this before in previous tutorials. I'll put the download link in the description if you want to use the same font. But you can try it with any font. I'm going to be using a size of 200 pixels so that it fills up most of my canvas and so it's easier to see, but you can use whatever size you want. And I'm also going to add a spacing of 20 between the letters just so they're a little farther apart. Then just click on your canvas and type whatever you want your text to be. And then close this little text box. Next grab your alignment tool, click on your text so you get these boxes in the corners. Then change this drop down menu to image and press these two buttons to center your text relative to the image. Next, press this button to duplicate that text layer. And on the duplicate layer, double click so you bring up the options for that layer and change its color to black. And close this text box just to get it out of the way. And then right click on the layer, the duplicate that we just made and choose Layer to Image Size. Then go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change this blur radius to about 30, depending on the size of your text. Press this button to move the blur layer below the text, because we're making it into a shadow. So change the layer's mode to uh, Grain Merge, then use your Move tool, make sure it's set to move the active layer, and move the shadow down and to the right a little bit. Then click on your text layer to make it active and change the layer's mode to soft light. You can see now we're starting to get this glass effect. We can see our text, but it looks transparent because we can still see through it. You might also, depending on your background, you might want to duplicate this uh, shadow layer, but then lower the opacity definitely to like maybe 30%. But that'll definitely depend on how dark or light your image is. Okay, then make um, a new layer. That should be above the text, actually. And then right-click on your text layer and choose Alpha to Selection. This creates a selection around the border of the text. Then make sure your new layer is selected and grab your uh, Ellipse Select tool. Also, make sure this mode is set to intersect with the current selection. Then come over here and drag out an elliptical selection like this that covers about the top half of your text. And just click inside the ellipse to finalize the selection. Next, get your blend tool, make sure foreground color is white, and change this gradient to foreground to transparent. Then click just below where the selection ends and drag straight up. You can hold down the control key to make it stay perfectly vertical and then release. Press select none to get rid of that selection. And you can see we added some gloss to the top of our text. Well, it's a little strong, so you might want to lower the layer's opacity to around 70 or 80. Next, duplicate the text layer and move it above the gloss. Then right click on the duplicate and choose alpha to selection. Then go to select, shrink and leave this set on 1. Then press the delete key on your keyboard to erase that part of the layer. And then go to select none. So this adds an edge around the, bo the border of our text. You can see in these darker areas of the background, the outline is hard to see. So depending on your background, you might want to leave this layer's mode set to soft light, or you might want to go ahead and change it to grain merge, and perhaps lower the opacity to like 60 or maybe 50. 
you'll definitely want to need to play around with some of these opacities and layer modes depending on what your background looks like. But that's pretty much it for the text effect. However, there's one last little detail we can add, which is to make the background appear blurry on the parts behind the text. To do that, we'll duplicate our background layer, then right-click on the text layer and choose Alpha to Selection, then make sure our background duplicate is selected again, and then go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and move this back to about 5. Then go to Select None. So now you can see the background that we see through the text is a little blurry, so it just kind of makes it look a little foggier as if we're actually looking through a piece of glass that isn't perfectly transparent. Okay, that's basically it for this text effect. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.